Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-May general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here. This is a general love reading for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Capricorn. This is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. To only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone else who needs to hear this message. Hi Crosswatchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Capricorn. Who wouldn't be? I like to remind Capricorn cross watchers that energy is fluid, and this simply means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and get your reading started. I'm first going to use my sound bowl to clear and set the energy for you guys, so let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. And tune into the energy of Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, let's go ahead and see what spirit wants to tell you about your love life, what's happening, unfolding, anything you don't see right now that you need to see. So let's see, tell me any information about Capricorn's love life spirit. Ooh, okay. So we have give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, Gemini. Just got this card, so if you're dealing with the Gemini or if you have strong Gemini in your chart, I suggest checking out the Gemini reading to see if there's messages for you there. So like the Gemini reading, this could mean many different things. It could mean that someone wants to work on a relationship with you, a connection with you. They may feel like you are giving up, that you are kind of almost tapping out if you haven't tapped out already, and they're trying to hold on to this Capricorn. Now, others of you... We'll, we'll pull more cards to get more specific, but I'm also seeing for some of you guys that this is something where if it has been rocky between the two of you, there's been some fights, some arguments, disagreements. I feel despite it all, they still care for you. They still love you. And there's something that they want to kind of maybe offer to you as a way of means to fix the situation, to change, to grow. But for some of you, I also wonder if someone is going to text you, call you, ask you to be in a relationship to further this into something more solidified. Um, the letter C is sticking out to me as in Chris, Christina, first, middle, last initial may mean something to someone. Let's go ahead and pull some more cards to get a bit more specific into this. Tell me more about this energy surrounding Capricorn. Cards are coming out fast for you, Capricorn. You need your message now. Ooh, walking away. Okay. Yep, it was generally the first energy I was picking up on. I do feel as if this is someone that you walked away from, maybe even walked away from you. If they were the ones to walk away from you, thinking the grass was greener on the other side, they were dead ass wrong. It was dusty, dry, and barren. And so now they're trying to come back in to fix the mistake they made. Um, but yeah, this is definitely something where someone may be giving up. Maybe someone is kind of feeling like this isn't really working, but the other person is scared if that is your mindset on this situation, Capricorn, um, because they definitely don't want you to go. They don't want you to leave. Tell me more. What does this person want to tell Capricorn? I need you in my world. You know, Capricorn, it seems a little bit clingy, a little bit codependent. Um... And they need your energy. It's like that's what they feed off of is what you give into this. You are some sort of a light. You are someone that uplifts them. But, you know, is it is it both ways? Because for some of you guys, I almost feel like this person drains you. This person may be, you know, just wounded in some sort of sense. So it's like they're hot and cold. One minute they want to see you, they need to see you, they need to come over, talk to you. The next they're just distant, you know, 
walking away from this and maybe they kind of feel as if Capricorn this is your last straw with whatever's happened recently some sort of argument some sort of flaking ghosting whatever and now they're really scared that this really is the end of the two of you and that's why they're starting to freak out I wonder if they have been trying to call you you've been ignoring them they still try to call again you know multiple text messages that you don't reply to they're in a state of urgency right now Capricorn and they're going to try to fight to keep this alive, to keep this going between the two of you. Because they don't want you to doubt this. They don't want you to walk away from this. Okay, I feel it like in my chest, this person's stress and anxiety over this situation with you, Capricorn. So, tell me about it, spirit. Okay. So, we have temperance in reverse. Sagittarius energy, Libra energy. Yeah, it's just something's not working. Something is not in balance here. Um, you know, with whatever has been a problem within this connection, there could be addiction issues. So that could come in any forms. Codependency is definitely an addiction, but it could also be drugs, alcohol, attention, whatever. Um, and that's throwing a lot out of balance here. But with temperance in reverse, yeah, I just feel as if this is a highly uh, chaotic energy. Um, someone's not very grounded, someone's not very stable, someone's not very calm. And I feel like that's throwing the whole situation off or maybe even pushing you away, Capricorn. Okay, I'm going to get all the cards out and then we'll go ahead and take a deep dive. Yeah, someone's stubborn. Stubborn with this King of Wands energy. Could be dealing with the Leo or someone with strong Leo in their chart. Yeah, Five of Pentacles crowning this. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups. This is Cancer Energy. So with the Three of Cups in the background, this is telling me a few things. For some of you guys, again, yeah, some of the addictions here are out of balance or instability comes from someone's lack of commitment, someone's not very devoted. Maybe, again, when someone feels a little bit insecure, they start seeking outward attention. Maybe there's been third-party situations that were going on. Um, but also with the Three of Cups, it could just mean someone wanting to get back together. Maybe you guys tried to give this a second chance and it's still not fulfilling you in those ways. I feel with the Three of Cups, you could have met through friends. Um, specifically, maybe for some of you guys, you met at a party, met at a you know work party, an event. And I do feel with this Three of Cups, though, that you guys had a few drinks together. Um, would definitely play drinking games. Maybe someone is in the nightlife for some sort of career, a promoter, an event planner, that type of thing. But they try to use distractions to, you know, not deal with their problems and their issues, whether that is, again, partying or other people. They try to kind of just not dig deep into the situation and act like nothing bad is going on. And I think that's what created more of an issue here. Maybe even for some of you guys, they took this too casually, or you feel as if they didn't take you very seriously. And that's where you're kind of really starting to feel like you want to walk away as well. So let's get into this. Center of this, temperance and reverse. Sagittarius energy, Libra energy. Yeah, something is not in balance. Something is not harmonious. I feel this is this person's energy all the way. Um, as you don't reply, as you don't text, as you don't call back, as I'm seeing is kind of going on here, they freak out more and more. And to the point of where they're like sending all caps, like their energy is just very un, not vibra high vibrational right now. And I think you guys are definitely sensing that. And it's through the thought of losing you, through the thought of you walking away. But again, they put too much emphasis on you to come back more than what they can do to fix it. That's kind of what's going on with temperance in reverse here. For some of you guys, the weight is not worth it. I, I have to be real. Um, temperance in the upright is usually about divine timing, things working out in the background. But with this, you know, with temperance coming out in reverse, spirit wants to say that you guys are just not in alignment with each other, that you guys are just 
kind of far out as far as your frequencies go. And the catch-up game that they have to do to meet you at your level, Capricorn, is going to take some time. And I think you've already given this enough time from what I'm seeing here. For some reason here, though, <laughs> with their confidence and assurance, they are still in this very um, optimistic way of looking to see that even if this is a rough patch between the two of you, even if you're starting to pull away, there's some sort of... I want to say illusion that there's it's all going to work out in the end. And maybe that's why they're, you know, despite that belief and despite the evidence showing them otherwise, um, a part of them is really starting to get scared because they're, it's not matching the sun card that they're trying to promote into this situation. I, I want to clarify this temperance in reverse to get a little bit deeper into this. Tell me more. The world card. Did I need to clarify? I guess not. Um, so this is fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio energy. Yeah, you're just on another level now. And if you guys have known each other for a long time, even, you know, since the three of cups, when you met, it may have been years ago. You're just a different person now. You're just a different vibration where you're more aware of you know, the things in your life that you either want to take with you on your next chapter or you're kind of just saying this has gone on long enough. Something about this connection has disrupted your inner peace, your inner well-being, and you're doing what you need to do to take care of yourself. And if that person can't really realize that and ignoring that, do they honestly care at some sort of level here? Now with the world card, you guys could come from different cultures, backgrounds, ethnicities, you could live in different parts of the world. Um, that's just always something I like to say with the world card as well. Someone likes to wear a silver necklace or like a silver pendant. Um, just throwing that out there as well. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. Yeah, honestly, you just know there's more for you. You know there's more to experience and love and romance and you're being more open to the new experiences than trying to be hopeful within this situation that has proven to be not so satisfactory. And I do feel with temperance coming in reverse, even your spirit guides want to say that time's up with this person. Even if they're clawing at you energetically, trying to get a hold of you through any ways they can try to convince you. I think you know deep, deep down Air, uh, Capricorn, who almost called you Aries. This is an Aries energy card, so you could have Aries in your chart. But anyway... Capricorn spirit is saying that we've been pushing you to do this for a while now pushing you to move on we've been showing you the signs exposing this person even to you Capricorn and no matter what they try to say to you know pray, paint a pic pretty picture of this it's everything you needed to see so you can activate the next level of your life specifically your love life for sure and I think you know Capricorn with this three of wands that there's other interests being sent your way. I think people have been starting to show interest in you, ask you for your number, be curious about you. And maybe you felt that curiosity too, but felt like you were still linked to this person. I think if you're open to the newer, you're going to experience a lot more excitement and passion again in your love life than sticking in this. There are two threes here. Your birthday could be January 3rd, January 13th perhaps December 30th for some of you guys, or you could be seeing a lot of threes, 33, 333 three, three from the universe here. So what's challenging this is the king of wands. This is Leo energy, and I do want to point out, we do have the king and queen of wands here. So some may indicate that that is a soulmate connection. I feel for you guys, this is more karmic. Um, but especially with temperance in reverse is the dead center of this. But even for others of you with this king of wands and the queen of wands here, I got to say this person and involving yourself with this person is quite literally blocking you from your true love, your soulmate, the person who would be in alignment with you. Um, if this is their energy, then I just got to say that they're being stubborn, stubborn about this. They've made up their mind already about you, Capricorn, and they feel like they have to fight for you. They have to have you. And they're not going to give up very easily. I still feel as if 
they're going to find other ways to message you, call you. Even if you try to block them, I still feel like they're going to find other ways to get a hold of you, to spy on you, to see what you're up to and what you're doing. Because they still have plans. They still have an idea here of what this is meant to be before the two of you. What's crowning this is the Five of Pentacles. Taurus energy. So someone feels definitely left out in the cold. Someone feels abandoned, neglected, ghosted. Someone feels as if there's not enough. Someone feels as if they've been, you know, settling for less. And even still trying to wait for things to fix themselves that hasn't been. Maybe this is the era of when they're in and out of your life, Capricorn. Um... You know, and during the times they're out, they, it really upsets you. It really hurts you because you feel like you've been giving your support. You've been giving your all into it and it was never appreciated because they are never there to stay. So, you know, again, if you finally put your foot down to say this is not going to be tolerated or I'm done with this, um, they're really starting right now in this moment. They see that you're gone. You're silent. You're not interacting. And maybe even for some that they're afraid of, you just don't care anymore. You're not going to put your energy and your effort into this. And maybe Capricorn, for some of you guys, you're, where you live provided them with a home. Like maybe they live with roommates, live with their parents or something along that level. And your house was always somewhere to kick it at. And they're not getting that same living environment anymore when they were with you. Maybe some of you really did give them their stuff back. I see as well. What's reading this is the Nine of Wands. Sagittarius energy. You're holding out your boundaries, Capricorn. You're standing very tall and very confident in who you are, what you know this to be. I just feel like despite the seriousness of all that, they're still not taking this as a very serious thing, as a very serious threat. Again, they're scared, they're nervous, but like, again, maybe it's their ego, maybe it's their pride. We'll just not allow or accept that this is finally over between the two of you. So if this is even their energy, um, they may have found that something recently was an L, like a loss. Um, Maybe L is someone's first and last initial, Larissa, Luke. But they, they don't think the, the war is over. They may have felt like they lost a battle, that you didn't text back, you didn't call, you haven't been messaging. But again, they're very stubborn. They're very persistent. They're holding out on this and they're going to stick through with it until they get what they want. That's their mindset right now in this moment, which is sending them into like you know, an adrenaline fight type of mode, okay? But yeah, I think you really are sending them the message, even if they're not getting it, that you're just not messing with it. You would be happier being single than trying to wait out for this temperance of reverse to fix itself. Especially if you just are really frustrated with the lack of work that they want to do to fix this. You know, it's almost as if this is the person that has excuse after excuse. I'll change. I'll do better. And it never happens. I think you're done hearing that, Capricorn. Someone likes to wear their hair in a bun, a high bun. Maybe even a man bun, perhaps, for someone out there that may resonate with, too. How you're coming forward in this situation or how they see you right now is the Queen of Wands, Aries energy. You know, you are someone that knows your self-worth. You're someone who is confident. I do feel like since you're starting to think of leaving this behind or if you've already left this behind, you're in this vibe of feeling yourself, of, you know, putting your best on to go back out there again. And if you've been posting it on social media and if they've been seeing it, they're jealous. They're jealous. They wish they were with you. They think you look good. They know that you're getting a uh, attention and attraction around you and they don't like it one bit. And it's intimidating them. It's making them nervous again. But with this Queen of Wands energy, you are someone that they would describe as hot, sexy, attractive. I think anyone really would. And I think you're reconnecting with this side of yourself of confident, sexy, 
assurance of, you know, I don't need you. I can get someone else. And even if I have to be alone for a bit, I'll still be happy. You're just kind of really tapping into a fire element here of just knowing that the feelings you're feeling around this, the decisions you're making around this are ones that you are confident with. And, you know, even though they're the ones being stubborn, they may kind of tell other people Capricorn's just tripping right now. Capricorn's being stubborn, but I know they'll come around again. We'll, we'll see. But it seems as if with their ways, with their behaviors, it's it's kind of a done deal. You're just a lot of fun to be around. You make a lot of people laugh. I'm getting that you're hilarious. Um, maybe shady, but your shade is, you know, pretty uh, accurate. For You don't just shade anyone to be mean, but if someone needs to get called out, they'll be called out. But with this Queen of Wands energy, you just are about living your best life and you see something about the situation that isn't contributing to that. Now let's talk about the Sun card here and how they're coming up as. How they're trying to show up to be is Leo energy for some. Specifically someone here, you or them could have Leo rising. But anyway. Yeah, I do feel as if... If they're trying to talk to you, trying to work things out with you, they're trying to show the very, very best side of themselves. Trying to, you know, I'm almost getting like salesperson type of vibe with the sun card here. Where they're trying to make the best out of the situation, trying to bring you the best plan. Um, but is it too little too late? Especially with the five of pentacles crowning this. And how long is this going to last? Because I feel as if you've seen this side to them before. They may have a really great smile that you've always liked about them. But um, with the sun card, yeah, I, I think this is just them showing their very best side of themselves to reel you back in, to get you back in again to this situation, Capricorn, maybe back into this relationship. I kind of want to clarify this sun card here. The sunflower may mean something to you on a personal level, whether you're seeing sunflowers quite a bit or they've always meant something to you that wants to come as a confirmation in this reading here. Tell me more about the sun card. I mean, also it could give the, what I was saying earlier that despite the evidence, despite what's being shown, despite you, know, you not communicating, having anything to do with this, I'm hearing that song like by Blondie one way or another. I'm going to find you. I'm going to get you, get you. Like they're still just like, this is just another dip in the road between us. Everything's going to be okay. Queen of Pentacles. So Capricorn energy. Yeah, they're just very, very certain that this is not over between the two of you. That there's something more that is going to happen through this. They're a bit... Um, you know, maybe they're right. I don't know. But what I'm feeling in my gut and my intuition here is that this is just all the facade that they need to carry in order to not have like a breakdown over you, Capricorn. Now, I gotta say, um, if you are kind of living your best era right now with your Queen of Wands, whether you're showing it off to social media or people are just talking about it and it's getting back to them, I almost feel like they want to get you jealous in a sense, especially if you haven't replied. And they think that by kind of like posting a picture or trying to start a new relationship with someone else and showing them off as the Queen of Pentacles, they're trying to get you to notice that. That's very specific and probably not for a lot of you, but if you felt that, if you're suspicious of it, you're absolutely correct. Nine of Cups. Yeah, you are their wish fulfillment, Capricorn. They still have high hopes in this. They still think that you guys will be back together again. So, yeah, that is still their main operating system as far as what they see in this and how they think this is going to work, and that's why they're staying persistent. That's why they keep trying, and they're not letting you go. All right, Capricorn, 
To see the likely outcome of the situation, what is likely to happen from now up until the next few weeks that you need to be aware of, that you need to know about, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. I'm going to overturn this card here to show you the likely outcome of the situation. Just pull some more cards, oracle cards specifically, to dive deeper into the situation to give you any more advice that I can give you on this. And if you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo which will take you to the extended reading. But if this is where we depart, Capricorn, I really hope that this is giving you the clarity, insight, healing, and guidance that you are seeking by watching this message. And if it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Capricorn, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Capricorn.